Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time because, say it with me, it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I have three products for us to check out today. One is from a brand new video sponsor, OK Pro. The other two are products that I researched and purchased on my own for my own needs. Uh, you can see one of them hanging right there, but we're gonna jump into it right now and go check out these two, the first two products, and then we'll come back to this box. Let's take a look at the image, portable camping grill. <laughs> I've been needing this. This, this is not a sponsored product. This is one that I researched and hunted for. Looking, wanted a grill. I've, I've wanted a grill that was both portable, control. I, anyway, when we get into this, you'll see what I mean. I want something I can take with me, but use here as well. Transport bag. That's handy. Oh, look here! It even comes with some some cloth oven mitts. I like that. And then we have the hangers. So that's everything that comes in the kit. And the reason I like this is because we can hang this Two different cooking heights and get close and far. And we can also whoop, 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 get that out of the way. This can also be used directly over a camp a small campfire. Charcoal on top of that. So I'm gonna cook up some ham some burger patties. Gonna make hamburgers for lunch. And we'll see how well it cooks. That's how it looks. Yep, we'll see how it cooks. Now we know now that we know how it looks. <laughs> the melt fire starters. I have just become a big fan. Because I've been I've started doing a whole lot of Dutch oven cooking, charcoal cooking. And I have been using just a, a torch propane to get that fired up. And I found these, they are, I mean, they look like, basically they are compressed paper. Compressed paper and wax. Got the windscreen up. <laughs> and the wind is still blowing it out. There we go. Doesn't nicely that just lights right up. Now that we're burning, let's put the charcoal on top. I like it. I like it a lot. 160 fires. One of, one of the reasons why I wanted this, number one, it'll fit in the back of the truck real well when I've got a just a truck camping kit because I'm the only one that eats meat, so I don't need a, a big thing. I cook one steak. That's enough. 
been using that for years but I recently got this Dutch oven cooking table and I, I just I like the height I extended it I made it taller so I'm not having to stoop over quite as much but I wanted some way to cook uh, on a grill and this will give me that ability anyway that's that's the theory we'll see how it works out I'm gonna, once the charcoal's burning I'll be back you ever been cooking on the patio before you start there's no bugs there's no flies but as soon as you bring out that hamburger patty you've got flies everywhere i encountered that when i was out on my 10 acres so i went went to went to searching it actually was on facebook i don't get on facebook very often but i i was was on Facebook and there was an ad for a, a, a highly specialized fly catching system being sold by this uh, pest control company. Oh, well, that doesn't look real high tech to me. And I jumped on Amazon and I searched mesh fly trap and lo and behold, the exact same thing. The guy was charging Thirty dollars for I could buy four for like fifteen. So here it is. There's four of these. They got a bowl, and we got a net. We need some attractant. It actually goes like and the bowl fits in here. Not quite as simple as the little plastic ones. There we go. Yeah. So now we just need some fly bait to go in it. And unfortunately, it didn't include any. Let me figure out what I'm going to do about, about, let me figure out where I'm going to get that and I'll be back. A little bit of raw pork, a little bit of cooked pork and some hamburger. Just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. We'll see if that brings them in. cook off before I start cooking any meat. So while we're waiting on the charcoal to get hot and for flies to show up, <laughs> We're, 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 we're in a holding pattern. So let's open this big box. This is from the OK Pro store on Amazon. They have seen a few of my videos and they know that this is a product that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be excited to, to work with. It's like we got a box in a box. box 
in a box, just like Christmas. I go through a lot of boxes. A lot of cardboard around here. Upside down. Whoops. Support. Mount. Of course, you can see the, the solar panel. And on this side, it is. Look at all those LED lights. This is a super bright 1800 watt, I think. The OK Pro Solar Street Light. Very similar to some of the others that I've worked with. Uh, 7,000 watt Kelvin. Dust to dawn light control, luminous efficiency, 100 LM, light emitting, there's a 14, 1,440 light emitting diodes. That's very, that's, I think this is the, the biggest one that I've worked with so far. That's pretty sizable. Gotta wait till dark. I'm going to find a place to mount it temporarily, and then after dark, we'll see how well it illuminates things. All right, I got to go cook a burger. All right, we got some burgers, we got some heat. Thinking, I'm gonna have to raise the fire. Just perfect for four patties. Look at that. I think I'm gonna elevate my 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 heat. I'm gonna pick it up. I like that. I, I got some, some heat control there. I feel like maybe it needs one more one more set of hooks. Burgers are starting to look yummy. Let's see if we're ready to. Well, we're getting close. One thing I would I would like is if the grill spacings were a little closer together. Gonna cook a steak on it tonight, so we'll we'll get some steak action too. All right, we're getting some sizzle on the grill. This is kind of kind of disconcerting when you're cooking and your and your heat source can move like that. I find that it it, it could be a little closer, but I, there again, I just need to add more charcoal. I only went with you know what I was working with. I didn't know what I didn't know. More charcoal would be better. 
We're gonna be getting getting out the cheese here in a moment. We gotta cheese our burger. We got the sizzle happening. Still have a little bit of a little bit more to go. And we have cheese. So the little bit of foil makes a huge difference. Camera overheated. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to move the camera. Burger's done. Perfect. I like this little grill. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go eat my burger and we'll talk. We had one more item delivered. This is Cobb chip on board work light. This one looks really cool. It's got a magnetic attachment, magnetic mount point. I need to get a, a charge on it and then we'll see what it can do. I'm pretty sure it does this will do something that we've not seen on a work light. But let me let me educate myself and get some charge on the battery and then after dark we'll be coming out here anyway to work to see how bright that is. I got a new setup for street lights. The Unistrut, so I can do a a temporary installation for the solar street lights. I keep getting so many. All right, we'll be back after dark. Man, that light is bright. All right, so this this is the Cobb chip on board spotlight we've been working with. Works really great. We've got multiple different. Uh oh. Well, it's pretty durable. So I'm trying to push. So we have multiple different, multiple different temperatures of lights. Slippery. Yeah, I like this little thing. I really like that it's got the hooks to hang it, a magnet, and a handle. You can actually use it as a regular floodlight when you're walking the dogs. Yeah, this little light is, is awesome. You'll be glad you have it. I know I am. Multiple different temperatures. I don't know what temperatures these are. But you can see the difference in the light color. Four, four different temperatures. All right. It is dark as night. Let us turn on a street light. There we go. That's a lot better. Can we make it get brighter? We can make it get dimmer. 
and then we can go brighter. Full on bright right there. That's five hours. So we've got a timer. We've got three different timers. And put it on three hours. And after three hours, it's going to go to 30% until someone walks through. And then it'll jump up to 100%. And after about three hours, it drops back down. Something like that, anyway. But it's, 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 it's a pretty bright light. So I can see 40 feet out from the, the light. I like it. Works great. All right, we'll check back in in the morning. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. I thought the, the street light, that's a great addition if you've got a, if you need some light. You put it up, you don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to run any wires to it. It's very handy to have. And let's not forget that fly trap. We've got well over a dozen flies in there and it's only been uh, about 18 hours. It helps if you've got some really smelly stuff to put in there. But we're done here. I sure hope you enjoyed this edition of Friday's Finds. Thank you so much. All of these items can be found on Amazon and the link will be in the... I'll put a link up there and a link down there. That link will take you to my Amazon influencer page and the shopping list for Friday's Finds. If you found some value, some entertainment, some, some interest, please click on that thumbs up. Blast me out across your social media. That helps more than you know. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That truly makes a difference. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I... We, ooh, I gotta get you out of the sun. We sure appreciate it. We really appreciate your assistance in growing this channel. And for our patrons, we are most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?